Hi, my name's Austin, and this is the first video on my new YouTube channel, which is going to be centered around learning new skills and applying them to create cool stuff. Now, the eventual goal is to uh, make prop replicas for movies and video games, but this first project is going to be just a little bit more practical. I got this wallet a couple years ago as a gift, and it's already starting to fall apart at the seams. So I'm going to apply a skill with which I have just a tiny bit of experience to create myself a new leather wallet. Now, currently, I don't have a good maker space. Uh, which is why I have this temporary setup here in my dining room. Uh, but one of the reasons that I bought this house is it has plenty of garage space to turn into a good workshop later on. Now, as you can see, that's going to require a lot of work, and I plan on making that a YouTube series of its own later on. But for now, let's go back inside and jump into making a new handmade leather wallet. So with the tiny bit of experience I have working leather and with the help of a couple YouTube videos, I came up with a wallet design that I'm gonna to make today. Um, now I'm actually gonna tweak it a little bit from this. Specifically, there is this strip along the bottom, which my current wallet has, and it's a look that I kind of like, but the more I think about it, the more I think there are gonna be issues with the wallet opening and closing, uh, because there's gonna be different thicknesses of leather, there's gonna be um, you know, a seam, and I just I decided to not go for that. Um, but these kind of crosshatch marks on here, uh, the idea is it's going to be kind of a quilted look. And I'm going to either tool that in or just kind of add creases. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I'm just going to see how the leather kind of reacts uh, as I work it and then go from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the pattern out of this paper. I'm gonna make the wallet out of a veg tan leather. Uh, so I'm gonna just cut a piece of leather out that fits all of the individual wallet components onto it. Leather tends to have kind of a natural bend to it. And so you wanna to try to make sure that that follows the bend of the wallet. Now I'm going to scribe in with a scratch awl uh, the shapes of the pieces that I need to cut out of this leather. So here I'm going to skive down the leather. Skiving is essentially the process of thinning the leather in specific spots so that it creates a smoother transition between the pieces. Next I'm going to go ahead and dye the leather black. This is a water-based leather dye. Later on in the video you're going to see me use a sponge to apply the dye, which seems to apply it a little bit more evenly than this little dauber deal that I was using here. Now I'm going to use an edge beveler to just cut down the sharp edges of the leather a little bit, which makes it feel a little bit nicer and makes it a little bit more durable. Next, I'm going to burnish the edges of the pockets. I can't really do this once I put the wallet together, so I'm going to go ahead and get that part done now. Now 
I decided I'm gonna use edge coat on this. I've never used it before, but I think it might create a nice uh, shinier edge to all the leather pieces. Now I'm gonna cut in the grooves, which will recess the stitches down into the leather so that they don't stick up quite as much. Then I'm gonna take a stitching punch and hammer that down through the leather to create the holes for the stitches. This is a contact cement, which is kind of some nasty stuff, but it does a pretty good job of holding the leather together. You apply it to both the pieces, let it dry until it's tacky, and then you press the pieces together. I'm gonna use a hammer here just to make sure that there's a really good connection that that glue is gonna hold really well. Next, I'm gonna stitch the bottom of the top pocket. That's what's gonna hold the top credit card in place and keep it out of the, uh, the cavities where the other credit cards will go. Now I'll cut off the excess thread and I'm gonna burn the ends of it and kind of flatten it down. Um, this culinary torch is not the ideal tool for this, but I didn't have a big lighter or anything laying around, so that worked well enough. So in order to get that quilted pattern that I was talking about, I'm just gonna use this little tool to kind of rub that into the leather. I'm not sure how well it'll hold up over time, but I think it looks really nice right now. This top piece here is gonna go on the inside of the outer cover, and essentially that's just to create a finished top uh, that you'll see kind of a, above the cash pocket.
Now I'm stitching the inner side of the credit card pocket. So the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to stick another credit card down underneath, like through the middle next to where the wallet folds. Again, I'm going to burnish this part because once it's attached to the wallet, I won't really be able to get good access to it.
It was at this point that I realized that I messed up. I forgot to stitch the top part of the pockets, uh, so I had to wedge my cutting mat into the cash pocket, punch the stitch holes in, and then use these curved needles to stitch those rows. Uh, it wasn't ideal, but it worked out in the end. Now to cap it off, I'm just going to apply a nice leather conditioner to moisturize the leather and make it more supple. All right, the wallet is finally done. Uh, this took me a lot longer than I expected it to, and uh, there were a couple bumps along the road, but I'm super happy with how this turned out, and I'm excited to start carrying it every day. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. That would help me out a lot. And if you want to see other videos like this and all kinds of other crafty projects, uh, please hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so that you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.